Hello, YouTubers. This is Mr. Zan over here with uh, a cha Bleach Chapter Review on Bleach Chapter 669, Your, uh, your Yaibai 2. Now, this chapter was surprisingly very quick. When I was reading it, I actually was just skinned it like that. It only took me like five minutes. Like, or, le or less, maybe, if I wasn't making all the sound effects. But wow, this chapter really, wow, this, it's amazing. Uh, it's kind of throwing off people's perspective of how, how his Bankai might have looked like. I'm not too sure if any other YouTubers out there actually might have any idea on how, how his Bankai, but Zoraki's Bankai is finally shown. No abilities have been shown yet. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Not even a, a glimpse of, of like, a, of, of anything, but it has, he is sheer powerfully, immensely just like slicing butter on Gerald. I saw the Stern Raider is just literally, he is being thrown around like he, like it's the opposite. Like, it's like a small little ant versus uh, a giant Goliath, but if uh, the roles are reversed. Like, Zoraki was actually throwing Gerald as like, like, like a little ragdoll. And it's so hilarious because Gerald was like just literally throwing Zoraki during when the whole time that Zoraki had uh, Na Nazar Nazarishi out. And, uh, and you're just wondering like, well, what the heck is going on here? And and literally the uh, his bankai is is so different from what everybody expected that literally even all the other cap the other captains are just like looking at him like what the you know W A T F what is going on here what am I looking at what what is going on here like they, even they're they're just as shocked as what are they what exactly is Zoraki gonna do now and and Zoraki's look has not not drastically changed more more so is like his personality is now on the outside that's the way I see it. his personality just just kind of took took form. Just yeah, it just took form over his whole body. Like his his skin turned like bloodshot red. Uh, he has like a couple black marks over his face. I think like it was like horns that were that were on top of there. And you know you're just looking at it and you're just wondering like Jesus and whoa. You look more like a little like a like a little devil or demon you know than than a freaking soul reaper you know which soul reapers are. All, to be honest, Zaraki's uh, soul release kind of looks a little bit more hollow, hollow like powerish, to me in my opinion. Like it, it just it, like not hollow and it, hollow power in itself or Arankan state. I would say it's more like like it because all the other bankais of the other uh, captains, they all seem more serene and more more in tune with uh with the surroundings. Zaraki's no, it just looks like. Like hell, hell, hell's been sent loose. That's just like like looks. It just looks like hell sent loose. And you're wondering, what what is gonna happen now? What's gonna happen now? You know, you see Zoraki like slice, slice and slice uh Gerald up, and his shield is actually just like being sliced and torn apart. And you're just wondering, you know what? Just what, what, what is this Bankai doing though? Like, is it, is it taking the life force out out of out of Gerald? But no. But then we. I thought I assumed that it that it was doing that, but no, because Gerald's Ger uh, miracle power is actually still in effect. Because uh, Zoraki chopped off his arm, and when his when his arm got chopped off, you literally see that uh they it, it grew back. So you know that that kind of raised the question that like okay that that wasn't his power, that was not Zoraki's power. Okay, so it's kind of speculating. That I'm still speculating like as to what what his power can be still right now, since uh his Shikai release was drink. It has to do. It has to do. I'm, it has to do something with blood. That's the, that's that's my opinion. My opinion has to be. It has to be done something with blood. Like it, it might be of a of empiric state. That actually that's actually very true. Yeah. And now that I think about it. It could be like a, a his shikai or band cameras might might be with a like a vampiric qualities or something along the line of that. You know. And and you're wondering as well, like why uh Zaraki's uh st state of like complexity just kind of even changed as well as like he looks like just like a like a like a red hulk version of just just bashing everything up you know like no no emotion whatsoever just just straight up brutal assault murder going on at it at somebody and you know you're just wondering well you know what it's, it's gonna happen it's gonna happen now you know and and i found that, that that when i was reading this chapter you know like all the scenes were just so fast paced that you know I, i'm assuming that like where they're going to animate this episode which whenever they do whenever any any animation company is going to animate this this episode is going to be like half an episode 
And then it's like, oh, at the end, it's gonna probably be like, oh, you know what? On on Bleach uh, episode next week, we're gonna find this blah 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 blah. You know, and you're just wondering, <laughs> you're just wondering like, man, all, all that hype when you're reading this chapter, and, you, and when you're gonna see it animated, it's just gonna happen like in one quickness, just like that. It's gonna be happening so fast, but, you know. But I thoroughly enjoyed this chapter, to be honest. This chapter was very enjoyable, as you can see that like that like Oda is now I'm not oh, I'm so sorry not Oda uh, Tite Kubo, Tite Kubo now. He is he is not really giving us hints as to what it might possibly be. Like it could just be like straight up destruction from what from just judging from the what, what the way it looks like, just a straight up uh, slice and dice attacks. That could be it. You know, and then Gerald. But I'm here thinking on another theory that as if uh, in this chapter that. Is there, is, uh, Gerald is flying, so is there a limit to his miracle power? That's what I'm. That's what I'm wondering now. Does Gerald have a limit to his miracle power? Because uh, Zaraki chopped him up, and um, and Gerald is now like he literally fell off the Soul King's palace. He he fell off and he, and he grew some wings and now he's flying over over uh, over all everybody. You know Toshiro, Byakuya, Ikaku, Ma Ma Madre, you know all these guys. And you're just wondering, like, is there is there an actual limit to this guy's power? There has to be a limit. There's no way that uh that that there's nothing else is gonna happen. Cause I feel like Zeraki's now gonna just like one one hit KO. Like I feel like that's what Tita Kuba's gonna do now. Tita Kuba's just literally gonna one hit K one hit KO this. Or just like troll us in in, in one sudden swift movement. That like literally uh that all all this hype is just gonna go in one direction. I mean, you never, you never know what Tiriku was gonna do now, in the, in this in this certain type of scenes. I mean, all the other fights were like really amazing and everything, but like Zaraki Kenpachi's like fights, you know, they 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 never cease to amaze people. They don't cease to amaze people. But I just feel like like I I can't see where he's kind of dragging along with this. I can't can't see like he's just making it. The, he's just Gerald is just growing bigger and bigger and bigger. But Zaraki like has yet to show any abilities at all whatsoever. So I'm hoping for the best right now that that uh, Kenpachi might show like an actual ability to due to his uh, Bankai release and just not just pure strength and slicing dicing techniques, you know? Because like I noticed that every Bankai that they, they always show so far always have uh, always has like a certain certain techniques to it, you know? Or maybe uh, Kenpachi's um maybe he's immune to damage now. Maybe that's maybe that's what's it. Kenpachi maybe might be immune to damage. That that's why he's kind of coded like that. So he's like in a frenzy. Like you know that maybe that's why um his his skin color turned into a different color because of that. That now he's immune to damage. So that's why he's maybe like a like a battling like a battling warrior now, able to face against draw. But he has he has no mindset right now. So it's just it's just a heartless machine. But and. Where is this chapter gonna head to? That's what I personally want to know. But I'm out of ideas of like personally what I might think that that Kenpachi and and Gerald might might be heading towards to. So let let me know in the comments section below. What do you guys think of uh, Kenpachi's uh, new Bankai? Do you do you think it was exactly how you pictured it? It might have been. Do you uh what do you think of of Gerald's ne uh next movement or or his next scheme that he that he might pop out? You know like you never know. Uh, Gerald might have like some some kind of other weapon that like or his Hawkmoon might have another ability that that Tico hasn't hasn't mentioned yet, you know. Just uh yeah, just uh let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this whole chapter, you know. And uh, if you enjoy my content, subscribe for for more content, you know. I'll be happy to make more videos these days, you know. But this is Mr. Zen signing out.